Now I want to look at uh, something that's actually a fairly new addition to the functionality available in the array object. The array includes method. This method has actually been added fairly recently. Um, if you look at the Mozilla Developer Network, they've got uh, excellent documentation on everything having to do with the DOM and JavaScript that you'd want. So if you look at the um, browser compatibility tables. They tell you when support was added to the various browsers. And uh, Edge 14, you can see, was the uh, latest for Microsoft. Internet Explorer did not have support. Chrome, it was only version 47. Safari, it was only version 9. So it was um, fairly recently that these were added to the JavaScript engine. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take an array so I've got an array called dwarves here with uh, the seven dwarves from Snow White. And I'm going to search through this array to see if any of these three names exist within that array. And the includes method is just going to give me back a boolean, a true or a false, to tell me whether or not this is correct. So let's um, create a variable called has Peter. We're going to look for Peter Dinklage inside of the array dwarves, that is our array, and we're going to call includes. Then it only needs one required parameter, and that is what is the thing that you're looking for? So my variable is name1. This is going to give me back a true or a false. So I can console log out the answer to our question. Let's say it contains Peter. And then our answer has Peter. So let's uh, run this once. False. OK, simple enough. This array does not contain the string Peter Dinklage. So we can try that again with uh, Kenny. Look for uh, R2D2. That's name two that we're searching for. Answer. There is no element called Kenny Baker inside here at all. So we can try one more time searching for our third. We'll look to see if happy is a string that exists inside of here. Okay, run it one more time. There we go. True. So Peter Dinklage, Kenny Baker, those strings did not exist inside this array, but the string happy did right here. And this method returns a true or false. Now, it is possible that when you were searching for something, you want to know whether or not there are multiple instances. Maybe you're going to keep track of what position inside the array uh, these things are found. This method includes just tells you yes or no, it is there. But there is another parameter that we can pass in here. So if I call this again, and I can say, OK, I know that there is happy there, but what about after this position? So position 0, 1, 2. So after position 2, does the name happy exist? So I'll try this again. Has happy 2. And run it one more time. True, sorry, two, this is uh, including. So we want to start at position three, zero, one, two. It exists at two. We want to start at position three. So this is where we start looking. So just for consistency's sake, I'll change my variable number. There we go. There we go. So happy does exist, but it does not exist after starting at position three. So after index number two, it does not exist. And that's it. That's how you use the array includes method. Uh, I will include the code as a gist and put that down in the comments.